Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a get it all done with me, going through my Christmas bins and organizing, cleaning, and getting ready for a party. Also did a little bit of a party prep grocery haul, shared a gluten-free lasagna recipe with you guys, and some snack recipes. So stay tuned for all of the motivation and inspiration in today's video. All right, you guys, like I said, we're doing a get it all done with me, and I did everything in this video. I kept it short and sweet as to what I was doing. Obviously starting out with the dishes because I always have a pile of dishes even though I do them every single day. I start out my day with doing the dishes just to make sure I can get through all of the loads that need to be done, especially with having guests over. One of my biggest pet peeves is having dishes in the sink. All right, you guys, in today's video, like I said, we're doing cleaning, organizing. I have a little bit of a grocery haul to share with you guys and a couple of recipes. I have a gluten-free lasagna that I just kind of whipped together with what I had in the house. I didn't have ricotta on hand, so I kind of had to makeshift the lasagna recipe, but it was still really good. So many things that I needed to get done before the weekend, before I had guests and family come over to the house. So I decided to re-record a couple of these things so that I could really give you guys a good idea of what a get it all done looks like in my house when I just have chaos all around me and I have so many things going on. This is honestly how I love it though. I love being busy and I love having people in my house. It's one of my most favorite things I look forward to. I just, my heart is the happiest when my house is full of the people that I love. It's like I said, just hands down one of my most favorite things. So I wouldn't trade this chaos for the world, but I'm going to let you guys enjoy this motivation and cleaning and all of the things. And I will pop back in when it's time for the grocery haul. It's me and you 
on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two. Hey, darling, you know we're gonna have a really good time. Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright. Pack our bags and get in that car. Real far. Let's get out. We can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take. Side is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Yeah, we only get one life. I wanna make. All right, you guys. First part of this get it all done with me. I want to really quick go through some of these party groceries that I got. I am doing a really easy potluck style um, birthday party for Kai because we were sick with COVID a month ago when we were supposed to have her birthday party. So this weekend I'm making a chili and then I'm also making, um, if you guys have ever heard of it before, um, it's the um, ranch oyster crackers. And I'm going to make a huge batch of those because they're so good. Um, I will likely leave out one package just for people to have with their chili. Um, and then all of this. So everything I got here today is for the party. So we got that. Um, and that recipe is super simple. Of course, includes Hidden Valley Ranch. Um, I'm going to need two packets of that for a double recipe. Um, and then I picked up some of these Snyder's Twisted Pretzel Sticks. We also like the Dots Pretzel for this recipe but this is like a spicy ranch one my dad gave me this recipe and I'm super excited to try it doing a super simple cake for the like everything is super simple this time guys I I'm just tired like we've been so busy and you know what there is a really good hack to making your um, box cake taste like it is from a bakery or homemade and then I picked up some of this whipped chocolate frosting now I would have made my own and I still might if I have the ingredients I didn't actually check um, but I'm going to double check but this is our favorite if we are going to do um, like some of the pre-packaged frosting I do like the whipped a little bit more typically we like buttercream um, and then I picked up eggs so I'm feeding for a I'm feeding for a large group the entire weekend I've got my grandma and I've got my entire side of the family so like all of my siblings except for my sister and her boyfriend are going to be here this weekend and I just want to make sure that we have enough to cover for everybody so um, I've got 36 eggs here for a simple like egg and hash brown breakfast um, for um, Saturday morning so of course to go with the hash brown breakfast I've got two packages of hash browns now Sunday morning I'm doing something called German breakfast which I will share a recipe with you guys here in the near future um, and I grabbed two more bags of hash browns for that because you need a lot of hash browns for um, the German breakfast and it feeds a ton of people so that is what I have for breakfast and like I said we've got cake to go with the cake I have some home style vanilla flavored ice cream but they also gave me on accident like I checked my order and I definitely did not order this but they threw in a free thing of ice cream I'm sure they did not mean to give it to me but my kids will eat it nonetheless picked up I just had to refill on some of the um, shredded cheese we we're low on it in the fridge 
um, a really cheap and easy snack. My kids have been loving just plain saltine crackers with either peanut butter or cheese Whiz lately. Don't ask, it's something I grew up on. It's like, I know it's super bizarre, but my kids love it. I love to even have it once in a while, especially when I'm sick, like saltines and cheese Whiz or like peanut butter. I know it's so gross, but so good. Um, I should say it sounds gross, but it tastes super good. Um, and then I just picked up some unsalted sweet cream butter because I am going to be doing some baking and um, some of the recipes I'm doing require butter. Also, I'm making crack dip, which you guys have um, seen on my channel before. I have uploaded it, um, but I will include the recipe. I'm going to be prepping a lot of this in t um, today's video for you so that you just have like an all to make it all done. You'll have some party prepping, meal prepping, you'll have a grocery haul organizing all of the things to get you motivated. Um, like I said, I'm making crack dip, so you need a big thing of sour cream and a big thing of top potato to make that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I got wings for like a really easy lunch on Saturday. My family loves wings. Um, I got a gallon of almond milk for the kids. I'm going to be doing some little smokies. This one I'm probably not going to make ahead of time, but I'll tell you now, all you do is you do a cup of barbecue sauce and a cup of grape jelly. I like to do half and half, so I'll do a half a cup of each, um, and then I will work my way up. Um, I can't remember, I think with this bigger package, I just do a half a cup of each, um, and then if it's not saucy enough, I will add equal portions of grape jelly and barbecue sauce. And we like to use the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce or um, barbecue sauce that we find from our local butcher. We like to find like, we love like a Texas pit kind of barbecue sauce, but with these little smokies, you're likely going to want to do something that's less peppery and more sweet. Um, and to go with the crack tip, I picked up two bags of potato chips and these were super cheap. There's like $2 this week at Walmart. So I just grabbed like the Walmart brand. Um, super awesome for like throwing parties because like nobody's gonna tell the difference. I cannot tell the difference between like name brand and these great value potato chips. I, these are really, really good. Last thing I, that I got is tortilla chips to go with the chili. Um, I know like my family likes saltine crackers with their chili. Mike's family likes um, tortilla chips or Fritos with their chili. So I just have kind of a spread of all the things. Great, so that is going to wrap it up for the party grocery haul. Now let's hop on into the rest of the video. Starting out with one of my most favorite snack recipes. This is what we call Minnesota crack dip. And you are just going to need a large container of sour cream, a large container of the top of the tater chive onion spread. And I believe it's like the family size. You can also use your favorite French onion sour cream. This is just our favorite. So we prefer to use this. And then I will do a couple handfuls of shredded cheese and a bag of bacon bits. Usually you just need the smaller bag. I had a mega size, so I just did half of that mega size. Mix it together and it is delicious with potato chips. It's delicious with vegetables, so many things. I highly recommend you guys try this, especially with the holidays coming up. This will feed a crowd and it is so, so yummy. All right, so with my gluten-free lasagna recipe, I'm just winging it here, using my traditional lasagna recipe and kind of making it a little bit healthier. I am doing a pound of ground turkey. This is the 99% fat-free. And then I added a little bit of Nature Seasons to season it up, and I get a lot of questions in regards to this utensil that I am using to grind up the meat. Um, this is specifically, this one is from Pampered Chef, but I know that they sell these on Amazon, so I will leave this link down below for you guys. It's just like a meat grinder or something like that. I have no idea what it's actually called. I was given it for my wedding, but I will leave an Amazon link down below for you guys to that utensil because I use it all the time for meatballs or grinding up my meat. Now, when your meat is all the way cooked, you're going to add a large can of crushed tomatoes and two small cans of tomato paste. And you're going to let that simmer for about 45 minutes on the stove top. And while you do that, you can get the rest of your ingredients prepped. Now the gluten-free lasagna noodles that I picked up, I did not cook ahead of time because they were the like no cook ones and you can just like whatever, no boil, you can just like use them right away. I never trust those. <laughs> I should not, I should have known better. I would suggest like cooking these for a little bit before you put them in the pan, just because the noodles on the very bottom of the pan did not cook all the way. 
But moving into the cheese portion of the lasagna, I, again, I just kind of whipped this together. I didn't have ricotta on hand, so I knew it was gonna be a little bit of a drier um, lasagna, and I didn't have cottage cheese either, which is really bizarre in my house. But anyway, I just did um, about three cups of mozzarella total. I had to go back and add some, and then I did a total of three eggs and did a little bit of garlic salt, parsley, and basil. Now you can just do this to taste. Um, and then I do add a little bit more of the parsley and basil. Like I said, since it's to taste, um, just add as much as you like. The basil can get to be a little bit stronger of a taste, so have a light hand when it comes to adding your basil. Now, like I said, be sure to cook these noodles a little bit ahead of time. I did not, and they didn't cook all the way in the bottom. The middle was fine, but the ones on the bottom did not cook like I wanted to, but you're going to lay down about four pieces of gluten-free lasagna on the bottom, layer it with your meat sauce, and then on top of that, add your cheese mixture, and then you're going to repeat the process. And at the very end, I know this is super cheesy and a lot of calories, but I like to add provolone because it just bubbles up so nicely at the very end, and I even like to broil it. Now, when I cook my lasagna, I do, I did not show you this in the video, but I do cover it with tin foil uh, for about the first half hour and then for the last 15 to 20 minutes I will take that off and if the cheese just isn't quite bubbly enough I will turn it up to broil I believe I set the oven to about 375 for the full 45 minutes like I said at about 20 minutes 25 minutes you want to take off that tin foil let the cheese bubble up and brown a little on the top and then ta-da you're done I again did not have ricotta so it was a little bit drier um, if you guys want to use this recipe with a ricotta I would do about a cup of ricotta or cottage cheese and then just lessen the amount of mozzarella that I used so instead of doing three cups of mozzarella I would do two cups of mozzarella and then a cup of cottage cheese or ricotta this is one of my most favorite lasagna recipes I actually got this from a friend of ours quite a while ago and it has been our go-to ever since I understand. over now so don't despair the world could fall down but it's gonna be okay the sun could go Next recipe that I'm sharing with you guys is one of my household's favorite snacks, and it is so cheap to put together and is delicious. I also like putting this together for parties or if you're gonna have a crowd at your house, because again, it's so simple and cheap, but is so yummy. It's just like a good, um, like hand grabby snack. Now what you're going to need is two packages of oyster crackers. You're going to need a stick of butter or a half a cup of butter, melt it all the way, and I will do a package of the dry ranch seasoning, Hidden Valley Ranch dry seasoning, and then I will do about a teaspoon of the dill weed and a, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. I did go back and I added a little bit more of the garlic powder and dill later on, just because I like mine to be really dilly. It's so good with the dill. Um, and then you're gonna put that on a baking sheet and you're gonna bake that at 275 for about 20 minutes. And I like to stir it halfway through, so 10 minutes and I will go through and stir it. It is messy. This is better if you do it with two pans, but I only had one available at the time. So I'm just making a giant mess here. And yes, I know I need to clean my oven and my stove top. It's on my list of things to do this week, but after it is done, I like to give it one more good stir and then I will store it in a Ziploc bag. And I will just like dump this out into a bowl and put a spoon with like little cups. Like I had cute little chicken or tree cups um, for this party and it was just it was super cute and this is such a good recipe highly highly recommend trying this out you guys it's so yummy or even putting it like I've seen somebody put this on like a pumpkin seed recipe before and that sounds delicious but try this out and let me know what you guys think over on my Instagram if you try it out tag me in your stories I love to see you guys recreate my recipes at home my family recipes in your own home I just think it's the most heartfelt thing ever my I definitely think that like food is the way to anybody's heart but moving into the next portion of the video which is organizing this part thankfully I didn't lose this clip 
but I did have to go back in and um, get a couple of other clips for you guys because I had some missing video files. But this is my dirty little secret, guys. My underneath of my stairs is where I store all of my decor, all of the kids' like clothing or like the baby items that they like don't use anymore. Um, everything is down here. So old decor from like the past 10 years is in this closet and it is just chock full. It's embarrassing. This this is like a crawl space and it goes all the way back um, underneath the stairs. It's huge um, and it is just full. So I'm going through it and trying to sell and donate a lot of the pieces in here because I just don't use them anymore. Um, also reorganizing some of my bins and this is just honestly like a part one because it took me so much time to go through the pieces and I'm waiting for people to like pick up some of the items that I was selling and I need to make a trip to the donation center for all of the items that I no longer need and in order to finish my organizing I need to finish those trips out and we are completely redoing the basement we did just finish it up a couple of years ago but we want to transform it once again because we would like to use it for a workout area and like our guest suite because we honestly Honestly, don't use it um, for like family nights or anything we usually just stay on the main floor so we're trying to make that basement um, a usable and livable space for us and not just for our guests so anyway stay tuned for that transformation I'm super excited I have all the DIYs coming to you guys over the next couple of months over on the M&M Rustics channel if you have been following along on my Instagram you know that we have a lot of DIYs coming your way I've given you lots of sneak peeks and I'm super excited so anyways all right guys that is going to wrap it up for this video I hope you enjoyed this get it all done you feel inspired and motivated to maybe organize out some of the bins in your house I know I can't be the only only one with storage that looks like this and just like hand-me-down decorations from like 10 years ago when I like was trying to decorate my house in college and I had family members giving me items when I literally had nothing and now I have like 10 bins of Christmas decor so I can't be the only one who's like this but anyways if you guys like this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up this is a kickoff to my Christmas season decor inspiration I like to start early to give you guys all all of the ideas and I like I said inspiration for your Christmas decor this year's theme is going to be so beautiful and I cannot wait to share that with you guys tomorrow in my Christmas decor haul and plan with me for 2020 all right you guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow bye I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding